I've been doing some research over the past few days and one of the most commonly asked questions about photo editing is how to blur the background of a photo. Blurring the background of a photo is a pretty handy tip that professional photographers use to focus our attention on just one thing without getting distracted by what's going on in the background. If you want to blur the background of a photo, of course, it's always best to do so before you take the photograph by tapping on the selective focus button if you've got an Android smartphone or the equivalent on an iPhone. Hindsight is a wonderful thing, however, and there have been so many occasions in the past where I've already got the perfect photograph that I want to use, but the background is all wrong. And this is where blurring out the background can really come in handy. If you run a search in Google, how to blur the background of a photo, there will be a couple of design tools that it will automatically suggest. There's nothing wrong with them whatsoever, but for a startup or a small business, they're a little bit on the pricey side and they can also be quite complicated to learn. So to help you out, I thought I would do a little bit of research on Canva to see if there was a workaround. And there definitely is. And this is what my tutorial this week is all about. How to blur the background of a photograph using just Canva. And my other little secret tool, which I've already shared with you before. Make sure you keep watching to the end because I'm going to share some bonus tips with you. So let's get started. Step number one, go to my secret, not so secret design tool, remove image background. Upload the photo you want to edit. Step number two, click over to Canva. Now upload the original photograph and the photograph that you've just removed the background from. You now have two layers of photographs, one on top of the other. Select the original photograph to blur the background. Now resize the photograph that you removed the background from so that it fits exactly over the top of the original. Step number three, now for the fun edits. You have two layers of photos that are both independent of each other. So have a bit of fun and experiment to see how you can customize and edit them.
that's it for this week i hope you found it helpful if you did please do take the time to give it a like if you've got any comments at all leave them in the comments box below and if you've got any suggestions or if you thought about something on canva that you'd like to learn more about do let me know i will see you next time